In this part, let's see how we can import all the DNS records into Cloudflare. So there's an import feature here. What we need is a file with our DNS records. Let's go to cPanel and see if those records are there for us. So I'll come back to cPanel. I'm going to start from the top. I'm just going to search for backup. I need a backup of my website. And in that backup, there will be a file that we can import into Cloudflare. So I'll click on Backup Wizard. And under Backup Wizard, I'm going to Backup. And I can take a full backup. There is a file here with my backup, but assuming you don't have a backup, I'm just going to come here and generate backup. And let the backup continue. Depending on how big your website is, the backup will take a small amount of time. Let me just click back to see if the backup is now ready. And you can see, since my website is pretty small, the backup is ready and I can download the backup. So I'll download the latest here, this one. Start download. For you to open the backup, make sure you have WinRA installed because the backup is in tar.gz. So make sure you have WinRA installed for you to open the backup. And then I'll just click there on open and it's going to open the backup in WinRA. So here, if I open that, but the one I want is here under DNS zones. So I'm going to open that and I want to extract this. I can extract it into a desktop. Let me just create a folder, control shift N. I'll just call it new folder, open it, and I will import. I will extract this file in there. I'll go back into Cloudflare. We test if the backup will, if the backup is compatible with Cloudflare. So I'll click there on import export, and then I can drag in my file, new folder, and I'll just drag it in there. And of course, we want to proxy the imported DNS records. I will click on upload. So some records failed to upload. Content for NS is invalid, NS is invalid, that's okay. This already exists, that already exists. So anything that did not come through, it's okay, it doesn't really matter, we can add those manually. But the good thing is that the other records have been added here. If you want to use cPanel mail, you should use the A record with unproxied, all right? I would suggest for the mail record, you change it to an A record. You can just turn this into an A record and do not proxy the mail, the mail record. The objective of this video was to import your records from cPanel into Cloudflare and we've done that. So that's it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know.